So Food Health asks, I can't seem to understand the process of repopulating the old URL from expired domain to make the link active again. And this is what I want to walk you through is from beginning till end, the simplest, fastest way to take a site, get it live and start, let, let it start passing that link equity that you need. So that's going to be step one. So we're going to need to log into SEMrush. All right. Again, I'm using SEMrush. If you want to use the equivalent, please, by all means, go right ahead. Aside from that, you know, oftentimes people are looking for expired domains. The issue with expired domains, when I'm building out networks, when I take on a client and I'm going to build that first five or first 10 sites, depending on what the budget is, or when I first set up the, when we first bought that affiliate site, when I first got that site, when me and Eric got that site, we set up 10 domains. So what I'm getting at here is we're not looking for expired domains. I'm looking for auction domains. I don't ever want the traffic to drop. I don't want pages to leave. I need all of that power. So the very first thing is, is nine times out of 10, 9.5 times out of 10, I'm probably not even looking for an expired domain. I'm looking for an auction domain. However, sometimes if it's a freshly uh, expired domain, all right, there's still some pages that are left floating about. It really depends. There's a lot of factors involved, but mostly we're looking for auction domains. And to do this, a lot of times we're just looking through GoDaddy auctions. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, I want to get you from, okay, where do I start? How do I place a link or how do I do this to literally, okay, here's how I get the domain. Okay, here's how I check. Okay, what's good? What's not? How do I launch it? What kind of hosting do I use? What do I have to do, right? Like, how do you go from what the heck do I do to boom, now we have a domain, right? And I've been in this position lots of times. So let's let's start digesting this. So now that you know that, okay, we have GoDaddy auctions, that's a $5 investment. SEMrush, that could get relatively expensive. I have multiple clients, so this is, you know, it's, it makes sense for me. If you can't afford this, hey, lots of people there, no problem. There are group access tools out there. Have a look, they're out there. All right, so SEO tools access <clears throat> might be a good one. All right, so with that out of the way, Let's keep going on here. So now that we're inside of SEMrush and we have our GoDaddy account open, and yes, I, again, there's a lot of tools that you can use. I want to get you to the finish line fast. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull up something here. Now you can search domains by keyword. You can search domains by their estimated uh, value. And to give another tidbit here, this really doesn't matter. You know, they're basing value off of a name you know they're not trust me GoDaddy's not analyzing backlinks okay uh I, that's that's not the business that they're in so i wouldn't go off of this even though sometimes i do sort by that just it's a feel good factor for me like when i'm looking at domains generally you're going to come inside of here but more importantly into the advanced search so once we're inside the advanced search one of the first things that i like to do is i just want to see more results right and then i you can look at this anyway. A lot of people are looking for the best deal. I'm looking for the best deal that already has bids. Why? The reason is, is because, hey, if there's already a bid on it, then somebody already did the work. So I'm generally looking, hey, is there at least a bid? There has to be something of value because there's so many. So you don't have to utilize my strategy. That's not always the best. I found some that had no bids, but sometimes I like to sort by hey, is there any bids or offers on these domains? Usually that's how I'm going to find a lot of the cream, right? Like this domain with 140 bids or offers on it, I would venture to guess that this is probably going to be a good domain and we'll get into that. So again, what I want to do is get you to the finish line and I'll answer your question, my friend. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking to see, I'm looking for link equity to value. All right. I try to spend anywhere between 50 to $300. I will pay more, but it has to fit topical relevance to a T for me to start getting past the three or $400 threshold. All right. So it has to be something hot for me to lay down that kind of coin. All right. That's me, right? You can, you can decide however you want. 
So as I'm looking through here, and, and you will potentially, when you get up into these higher ones, there's a lot of people looking at these. You know, just keep scrolling down the list, right? So let's just take one off the bat, and we're going to start looking. Let's just say that these fit our criteria. Again, you can break down by keyword. You can break down however you want. You can even throw them in the Spamzilla and search by keyword. But I like to just look at the list here. I like to see, hey, is there any bids on these? Is there any offers? And then I like to go and see, like, what's the price ranges here? Like, here's celebrities with no eyebrows.com. That could be a cool little affiliate site. I have a funny feeling that might even be a search term, but I'm generally looking for stuff. Uh, Pro Clips, that, that has a lot of potential here. So let's go up here and take a look here. All right, so estimated value and then price. Okay. So again, so now we're just looking for a domain. And then the next piece that I want to share with you is let's start getting in here. So we're going to go for this one right here, afterdivorce.com. You know, that could fit into a plethora of different things, but let's start analyzing and let's try to pick one now. So this is where SEMrush comes in. So we've, we've, we've pinpointed a domain that fits our criteria. Criteria meaning it has keywords, it's brandable, it's, it's, it has, it has some type of value to us other than the links. All right. Like the name is good. It fits our motives. All right, now once we have that, the next piece is, is does it have any link equity? All right, after divorce, not so much. We're going to move on because I want to find, I want to find something that has a lot of links coming to it. Um, so this way we can take a look here. Let's take a look at this six band. So that's eight, eight, uh, 120 Quilk, SEO, social news, Tyra boss, remote creative.com. That sounds kind of cool actually remote creative. Let's take a look at that one. All right. So now let's come back into here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go into here because there is something that uh, we can do. So let's get inside of our advanced search. We only want dot coms. All right. So we could go dot com dot org or dot net. All right. So these are your top level TLDs. I'm not necessarily looking for the exact matches at this present time, but I am looking for expiring auctions, public auctions, public buy it now. Um, not really buy it now, but yeah, we could do buy it now. Uh, domain connect, close out domains. You can do that on separate searches, but right now we're looking for domains. .com.org.net, domain age. Now this is one of the bigger filters of where we can start looking for, get some of these backlinks. Because at the end of the day, if it's not at least two years old, Eh, I probably don't even want it. All right. So now let's, now let's start dwindling these down a little bit more. Now that you got a feel for the auction platform and you saw what I'm going to do next. So let's actually find ourselves some little gems here. So now that we're coming into here, uh, and again, there's tools out there that speed this up, but I want to show you from the easiest standpoint possible. All right. Like, yeah, I could just go throw this in Spamzilla, but you know, I want to take you through the whole process. Let's make this a little easier. All right. And Spamzilla doesn't pick up every single thing. Not like this. Like, look how many domains there are. <laughs> it's kind of wild. All right. So in any case, now we're, we, we know that, hey, it's .com.net, top level TLDs. On top of that, we know that we are hitting an age that it's at least two years of age. Okay. According to GoDaddy, these are about to end. So what we're going to start doing now is we're going to go to bids and offers. I like to see where the bids are at. That's another thing that I like to do, like when there's like a few hours left and you get a domain that you could tell has like five or six bids on it. It's right below that point where you want to go. It's at like a hundred bucks, 150 bucks. You throw it in. It's got like 1500 referring domains. The anchor text is clean. You're like, oh yeah, that's when you start. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, that's when it gets fun. But let's, let's take a look in here now. All right. These all have bids on them. All right, so estimated value and then the actual price. So here's Dwayne.com. That's quite interesting. Matusik, okie doke. All right, we're just coming back into here. All right, here's that Pro Clips again. So let's 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 take a look at this Pro Clips real quick here, because um, I want to get one so we can actually start looking at the domain and see what's going on. Authority score is seven. Referring domains is eleven. That's not going to cut it for me. 20, 2200, here's 800, buck 60, W20. Again, we're looking for a domain. Okay. 
Here, this one looks kind of cool. Okay, because so I want to move to the next step. All right, so that's no dice. Again, let's just keep looking here. Um, After divorce, we already checked that one. So here's 200. Muse Girl, that, that might not work. BurnsideBrew.co. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. That could fit. I have something for that. So Burnside burn side brew that sounds kind of cool let's take a look and see what that's got going on all right 366 referring domains okay so we have a little something here something there's something there okay we could we could turn this into whatever i would generally like to see a lot more referring domains a thousand plus usually is is the benchmark but for sake of video let's take a look at this one so again, we are looking at referring domains, not backlinks. I don't care how many backlinks you have. How many referring domains is there? All right. So once we take a look at that, we want to go ahead and open that up. But before I do that, what I first want to look at is on top of these backlinks. Well, let's just go over here. On top of these backlinks, what are the primary anchor texts? So there's 156 um, coming in. Some of the primaries are going to be branded. Um, so Burnside Brewing Company, Burn, uh, Burnside. So this was definitely a brand. So the, the question here in lies, do they have anything worthwhile? All right. Now, obviously, obviously, we want a high number of referring domains that have high quality links within their backlink profile. I'm not here to show you how to search for the best domains all right i want to be able to take you from beginning till end what's the process okay here's where you find them here's how you check them here's what you're looking for and here's how you launch them all right and here's how you get the links that's what i want to show you today we could talk more about finite looking for links later like looking for forbes and cnn and and times leaders and all these kind of crazy links and mashables and and all this stuff Yes, there's a process for that too, but let's, let's, we want to answer this gentleman's question is the objective here. Okay. All right. So, uh, branded, usually I wouldn't want, right? Like if it's super branded, maybe not so much like you could, maybe if this had a lot of really nice little links inside of it, if this had a lot of hitters inside of it, I might consider doing something like there's a lot of like home brewing things at home. We could ride off of their ride off of their name and created a localized affiliate play. We could do that if there was some type of traffic, depending on where the brand was, like maybe it's in Virginia or something where there's like 300 home brewers or something and be like, make it, make a cool little localized affiliate play. Maybe. Uh, but generally I'm not looking for, um, I, I generally don't want those types. Like the anchor text is too heavy branded. So usually I would go over that one. So let's keep going here. We're, we're going to try to get one in here. Kawasi. I don't know what that is. Um, Charleston down limos. So that could be for limos. Fun guns. Sorrento. So this could be. This has some potential. Let's go in here and see what we got going on here. All right. Eh, not so much. Okay. So here's, here's what we'll do. We're going to crank this up just a little bit more just to have some fun and see what we got. Let's do a 10 year, <laughs> 10 years old. You should be able to have quite a bit of, uh, you should have quite a bit of some history after prices have gone down significantly. Um, so that's quite interesting. Bell Mac, these are, okay, so these are straight bids. So let's go to bids and offers. All right, so these ones, all right, so we're getting the same ones. Wow, that's a 10-year-old domain. So let's take a look at this. They want 1,600 bucks. It's called Spread It. Let's let's see what's going on here. Let's see why they're trying to get 1,600 bucks. Interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't see it. Maybe somebody just wants that name. I, I'm not seeing it. Dwayne76U. H O O H O A A home. Ooh, this has, this has potential. Eh, not enough juice for me. 
Geolink. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Age is 19 years old. All right, we're just going to run with this if we don't find one soon here. We might just run with that one. Sellhousesfast.com. Sellhousefast.com. Yeah. Uh, BMX.com. CBDHealth.com. 1200 bucks. So, Divine Comedy. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. I could see a lot going on with this. I'm going to have to edit this out, but that's okay. All right, so this has it going on here. DivineComedy.org. Let's take a look at this now. All right, we're just going to run with this one just because there's a nice number here, 750. As you can see, when you start getting to the 1,000 plus, I do see this, though. The country is primarily AU. Um... I mean, if I was setting up a PBN, this probably wouldn't be what I would want if I'm primarily focused on USA. Uh, but let's just say, for instance, that we don't care. All right, so referring domains. Let's take a look at our anchor text. Make sure that it's so divine comedy. I, get, I bet you that divine comedy. Let's go see if there's some type of volume on that. We'll just come on over here. We'll type that into Google. Um... I have a keyword surfer thing that should tell me some type of keyword volume. So just the word divine comedy is 18,000. It looks like it's a, a poem of some sort. So, but there's some heavy volume on this particular keyword. There's books. This, this, this actually has a lot of potential. There's books. There's, <clears throat> there's a lot going on with this. Uh, Divine Comedy, Poem by Whatever. Mm, let me just take a look at this really quick here. So it is, I guess there's books. Wow, this this has a lot of potential, actually. Um, this this one's getting me kind of kind of excited. Um, oh, wait a minute. Dante. Hey, I've heard of this guy before. Okay, so this is a big... This actually works. Uh, it stinks that it's not, um, there, there could be a lot done with this one. It's got a lot of referring domains, divine comedy. The main anchor text is a massive keyword. I do see a little bit of this here, so it might've changed hands. There's 173 backlinks on this. So let's just take a look at this briefly. Usually when I see this, um, you know, some people would run away from foreign stuff. Generally for me though, like usually maybe I would, but we want to do uh, Hindi to English because I, what I'm curious of is what's it say, <laughs> right? Like if it's divine something, um, hmm. let's see what this, maybe it's not Hindi. I could be wrong. Uh, Arabic dialect. I, I'm not sure. It's not, um, detect original text. I mean, is that what it says? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. So this is quite interesting. It looks like maybe they were building weird weird links of some sort but in any case it's nothing uh derogatory what we're going to do is we're going to go down the list though we want to see where there's just a few especially recently found and what we're looking for is a lot of chinese or a lot of stuff that's within here there's quite a bit here this probably passed hands quite a bit but what i'm looking for is massive amounts of anything that's chinese anything that says like cam girls or xxx or pharma or Anything where there's a lot of anchor text or backlinks containing anything to do with XXX, cam girls, pharma, anything crazy, no dice. I see a lot of like Chinese writing or like there's a lot of anchor text that makes it up. No way. Not a chance. But this little tiny bit, not a problem. So it passes the anchor text check in my opinion. We look at the referring domains. I'd like to see a lot more uh, for a lot cheaper. But for the sake of this video, we're doing pretty good here. What I'm looking at is referring domains. This has a lot of referring domains. Then we're looking, is there any is there any gems here? Um, and if this is the domain that we decide to build on, 
We know that it meets the age requirement. We know that there's a big volume for the name. We know that the referring domains is high, so it's passing a lot of power. We also know that the anchor text, it works around what we could do, right? Like divine, divine Comedy was actually a book or a poem. We know that there's a lot of angles there. There's a lot of volume there. Um, there's a lot that could be done with this if, if it's within your niche or wheel well. So with that out of the way, so far what we've done is we've gone to GoDaddy, all right? Again, you could have searched by keywords, but really what I'm looking for is aged auction domains that are within whatever your budget is, aged auction domains, not expired, aged auction domains, not dropped, auction. So I'm looking for an auction domain within a particular amount of money that has X amount of referring domains, that has age, that fits within my topical relevance bucket, right? I then want to take that domain and we really want to do a little finite combing through its metrics. Again, we're looking at referring domains, the anchor text, the overall backlinks, the overall quality of the backlinks. And now let's move in to the very next step. Now, this is where a lot of people get hung up. I think that this is where my friend got hung up. Okay. The next piece is because we want to make our lives easy. All right. We want to be able to come into uh, the way back machine or the web archive. Okay. My wife's messaging me. Give me a second. All right, so what we need to do, and this is where a lot of people get hung up. You do not, unless you're just doing like, if you're not going to do a rebuild, all right, like if you're just going to launch it exactly how it was and then just change out the links, you know, that does work to a degree, but that wouldn't be necessarily the way that I would do it, right? So one of the very first things that we need to make sure of is, is there any snapshots so we can get an idea of what's already there? All right, and we're gonna cover why in a minute. All right, so we're gonna come inside of here. We wanna see if there's any type of history for divine and we can see that we have a lot of age here. You can also come in here now and take a look as now we've moved on. We saw the backlinks, we saw the referring domains. We know that there's age. It fits within our bracket. It's got a lot of potential. So now we want to see where there's big spikes, big gaps. We can see, I bet you that it changed hands here and it changed hands somewhere over here. There's a lot of pages indexed. And then it pretty much stayed the same since 9 to 16. Um, this is quite interesting that there's no snapshots um, over here. Um... Uh, expiring auction. Hmm. I thought I, well, let's just stay on track here. This probably wouldn't be, this probably wouldn't be what I was looking for. Um, okay. All right. We got pages indexed. Ooh, we got, okay. So the home page is in there. That's a good sign. So let's just get in here and take a look at some of the snapshots. Um, I'm looking for green. I'll take blue, but blue is going to not have all of it. So that kind of stinks. Uh, I like green because I want to see it all. All right. So you could tell this is like, because when we looked at this, it was like Dante's Inferno and all that kind of thing. So there's not really much here. This probably... Eh. Uh, this probably wouldn't do, but let's let's keep going with the tutorial here, okay? This probably wouldn't float for me. Um, it's got a lot of good things, but it's not perfect, that's for sure. Uh, but let's say that it is, okay? Let's let's keep going here. So now, one of the next things that we need to do is we need to figure out where the follow links are, okay? Let's say we just did our Wayback Machine check. We were checking to see a snapshot, see what was current, you know, past what was there, how did it look, what was the structure, you know, like how many times did it change hands? That's what else I'm looking at. I'd like to look at a bunch of snapshots. 
to see if it's been the same pretty much all that time? Was it only one owner, like a car? Like, how many times did it change hands? How many different variations did it go through? Was it pretty much the same thing? Does Google understand what this site is about over a consistent period of time? The answer is yes, it understands, but it didn't really have much going on. Internal linking didn't seem to be a factor there, uh, but there are pages indexed still, so that's a, that's a good sign. Now we need to figure out, well, where's the links going? All right, and, and this is really going to drill down on your question, Food Health. This will really take care of the question, okay? So once we come inside of here, we could see that, all right, so we need to look and see. All right, so we have our follow links. All right, it looks like we have a lot of links. All right, so let's come in here to our referring uh, domains. Okay. So once we go into the uh, referring domains, we're going to scroll down. They don't have a lot of quality links here. All right, let's go uh, 40 to 100, and let's just take a look at this. Okay, 40 to 100. All right, let's just take a look here. Uh, you can get rid of this. So 40 to 100. Let's just see if there's any good links in here. PB Works, Front Porch Public. Um, I don't see any bangers. Nothing super crazy. Amazon. Ah, they got a little bit going on here. It looks like 143,000 people links going there okay so now let's let's take a look at this we'll go over here to the overview we'll go to the url and eh, let's just take a look i just want to keep looking at this here so 159 going there 26 58 interesting a lot of dot coms, top countries are USA, so that's a good thing for me at least. Uh, link profile referring domains, 747 referring domains. All right, not so bad. So far, so good. All right. So let's just take a look at this here. Hmm. -hmm. It looks like all those are going into this particular page. 143,000 going into the home page. So let's just come inside of here. All right, we're going to go to our referring domains again. We're going to go to our authority score. And then it looks like it looks like we can even go 51 to 100 and really start to see where the juice is at. I'm assuming that it's all pretty much going to that home page. Um, that's what it really looks like. What we're trying to determine here is where are the links going? All right. I'm assuming it looks to me, um, it looks to me like they're all pointing at the domain, like the main domain. Yep. Again, divinecomedy.html. This was very typical. So and and then let's go back into this one. I'm betting it's the same exact thing. So we have one going to this page. Here's another one that's HTML. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you would download the report though and, and make sure. But what I'm looking for is where's the best links and where are they going, right? Obviously, again, you would download the full report and take a look. Um, but for sake of this video, we're looking for, I'm looking for the money links. And where are they pointing? A lot go to this particular page here. All right. These percentage signs are slashes. Please remember that when looking at this. All right. So Amazon AWS looks like they have, oh, they're finding these blogs and throwing links at it. This is going to the divine. So, so far we know from looking at this, a majority of the links, all right, if we were to take this up here, so far we know that it's a www, every single link was www, this is common for the older sites, we know that it was pretty much these here, all right, 
So when you take a look at this, here, here's what we know we would do. We know that we're going to build this page here. This is the home page. And we're going to build this page here too. All right. So, so far, we know that we're going to have these two pages on our website. This is where the majority of the high potency, again, you would do a little bit more digging, see where the best links are. And wherever the best links are pointing that are live, we're going to make sure that we build out those pages. Now, let's answer the question that I get a lot. Does it have to be exact? No. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. Actually, why would you want it to look the same? Like, you saw this site, right? Like, when we go out here to the Wayback Machine, and you're going to find this a lot with these age sites or any sites. Like, when you go to the Wayback Machine, all right? Like, they have these downloaders. They have these tools. I was even tossing this around with myself as I've been building my own tool. Like, why would I? Why? Why? Like, this is what Google knows from, from the last time it saw it. Like, why would I want to download and have my site look like this? I don't. And a lot of times what you're going to find is a lot of these sites are horrendous. But what you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that you're keeping the structure. What I mean by the structure is, is when I launch and create my web pages, when I make a website, I need to make sure that it's www.divinecomedy.org and I want to make darn sure that I have another page that is www.divinecomedy.org forward slash divine underscore comedy dot html. I want to make sure I have both of those pages. Why? Because when we did our analysis, we found that 85, 90% of all the high quality links are pointed to these two pages here. So what's the next step then, Chris? What do I do? What do I, what should I do? For me now, what I've been doing for launching these domains and setting up PBNs is I've been using, and you can use anything you want, all right? So generally what I'm looking for is like a, a Shura host, right? All right, so a Shura hosting dollar host. I have a lot of sites up on this. I'm not going to cover them with you right now. I use this. I've used them on a lot. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's cheap. Okay. I'm looking for cheap and affordable hosting that has either cPanel, direct admin panel, Plesk. It has to have some type of panel. It's got to have a hosting panel to make my life easy. All right. And I'm going to go to each of these hosting providers that I can find. And lately what I've been doing is I've been launching them up on, hey, little buddy. How are you? Are you doing good? I'm so glad to see you. I'm, I'm just about done here. We're, we're at the very final stage of this video and then I'll be done. We can play. Sound good? Does that sound good? I mean, since you're here, I could just end it now. For you, I could end it right now. Yes, honey. It's good to see you. You drove over to my job. Did you drive over to my work to see me? That's so nice of you. All right, another one too is this. Hang tight, I'm almost done, son. All right. Another one that I like to do is I go to lowendbox.com and I'll come into here and what I'm looking for is VPSs and just mix and match. There's a lot of different providers in here, but the key factor that I'm looking for is cPanel. I come inside of here to find cheap stuff. Another one that I use is, um, uh, I use Rack Nerd. What's up, bud? All right, I use VPSs inside of here. Excuse you. All right. Yeah, buddy bear. You, you're going to have some vegetables with us? Then you just get your... This is this has been the process now for the PBN. So I'm just going to walk you through one of them. Um, this is, say, one of the sites. You'll just come inside of here. Um, oh, you have to log into the thing. I canceled that one. So here, I'll take you into this one. Oh, I switched that. We, we don't want to show that one. Here, let's go to here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
all right? Lately, what I've been doing is I've been either launching it in Microsoft, I've been launching it in, like, say, Webhost Python, um, and what I've been using is Bootstrap for these. So, cheap hosting on a VPS using, say, Bootstrap, all right? That's pretty much what I've been doing, all right? So, if you take a look here, free Bootstrap template, okay? And you take a look at this... Um, article extract please don't sign up right now we're working on the tool i've refunded everybody um don't sign up but this is bootstrap so much bootstrap that literally like i took the same process um from my host and i literally just been going out here grabbing bootstrap themes because a lot of pbn providers are using wordpress it's a footprint a lot of them are using the same exact thing same templates free templates same everything I've been finding the domains, launching them with Bootstrap, putting them inside of a dollar, two dollar VPS, launching it, paying for the extra IP so it's its own IP address, launching it, re-indexing the pages that I find that have the links going to them, and you're up and running. I mean, that is really the process. That is really that easy. Um, that's what I do. You know, I'm sure there's people that might complicate it, but that's the process. All right. What I'm going to do right now is because my little guy just went upstairs uh, is let's run, let's run through that quick. All right. So I lost my train of thought because my little guy wants my attention, but let's run through this one last time. And then I got to rock and roll. So you need two things. First and foremost is we need our GoDaddy auction account. You need a tool. You can use Spamzilla. You could use Dropcatch. You could use, um, I use Scrape, uh, Scrapebox. I've used that for expired domains, but now that I've been using Spamzilla, utilizing See see this tool right here? It's called Flickover. It's a group buy. Also, SEO Tools Access group buy. I've been getting Spamzilla. There's, I've been using Spamzilla, Dropcatch, all the tools to find them to help me weed things out to find them faster. I showed you a manual process, but the process is the same. Even though I'm using those tools and I can see metrics and find the age and do all that stuff faster, you can do it all within here. You get the domain. It'll take you longer not using a tool, but you could do it. You find the domains, sorting by age. What I care about is referring domains. I bring it over here to SEMrush. You can use any equivalent that you want. Once I pull it inside of here, what matters the most? Well, what matters the most is referring domains. Is it within the country that I want to go for? What's the anchor text coming in? Can I use it within my niche and can it pass power for me? Can I get link equity out of it? That's what matters. Once that is done, the next step, the next course of action, once we fit all that criteria, the age, the look, the age, like all of those pieces fit, then the next step is we want to go take a look inside of the Wayback Machine. All right, Wayback Machine. Okay, you go to the Wayback Machine and you want to see some snapshots. Has it changed hands? Has it ever been spammy? Has it ever been crazy? Has it ever, has it ever not been what it appears to be and you want to take a look at that all right so that's way back machine i think it's like web archive just type it in yeah archive.org come on over here you're not worried about having it look the same what you're worried about is building out the structure that had the links and you know what links or what pages on the site you need to build based on where are the links coming into just like i did in here you come in here and you take a look and you make your list. You're going to probably export them all and, and, and comb over all of them, but I did it very quickly. We could see that there's a lot of links coming to this one, at least where the power is going. We can also see that they're going to this one and the main page, all right? So when we launch that website, we know that these are where the majority of the powerful links are going. I'm not worried about all of them. I'm worried about where's the juice that's actually powering the site. When I want to launch these pages, I'm going to launch these ones, all right? The next piece that I'm going to do is I'm going to find a lower cost solution, not a PBN host, nothing that advertises PBN ever, not a dashboard, none of that crap. One by one by one by one. More notably, if, if they can host the registrar too, even better, I'll transfer it right out of GoDaddy, put it into there, launch it up on a VPS, a dollar host, pick one, anywhere you want. Los Angeles, you want to go to Racknord Cool, you want to go to a shore hosting, you want to use anybody you want. Get a VPS that's cheap, that has cPanel or any type of 
any type of panel to make my life easy for uploading stuff. And then what I'm doing is you could do WordPress, but lately what I've been doing is Bootstrap. All right. The templates are nice. They're cheap. They're fast. Like if you get inside of here in Bootstrap and you take a look at the themes, like look at these. A lot of them are really nice. They're dashboards. This is just a few. Look at here's one and they're ready to rock. It's just like WordPress. They're easy to do. You will need to know HTML. If you want to do WordPress, that's fine. But this is the process. This is how I do it from beginning till end. How do you place the links to get the power to answer your question? It's exactly that. You find the domain, you launch the pages that had exactly how they were that have the links coming in. Once you do that, you wait. I wait for the, everything to get indexed, get crawled. If you're looking at the Wayback Machine, if you're looking at the Wayback Machine, all right, if you come inside of here and you could see that the old site looked decent, you don't need to copy the design because you're going to probably be using something newer like WordPress or Bootstrap or wh whatever you decide to use. Make it look how you want. The only thing that you need to make sure of is do I have the structure, the pages that are getting the links? If you really want to get crazy or if you want to be lazy, then you can go look for things like Wayback Machine Downloader. Okay. Uh, one of the better ones that I've been playing around with, let me see, um, Wayback Machine, no, it's Web Archive Website Downloader, okay? And if you take a look inside of here, um, I believe it's this one right here. Yep, this one right here. Boom. 